Now we have this shoot here that we're going to use for the cane for this year to produce fruit. And this one is going to be the one we're going to cut back to for the coming season. So we're going to cut this one like over here. Today we'll be looking at uh, pruning cane pruning systems or geo systems. The reason we prune this is it's an alternative to the vertical shoot positioning system is to get a bit looser bunches, especially in the areas where we struggle with bunch rot. Uh, it's also a system where we always have a fertile shoot, which is also good for production. So we will start off with this. You always, we always leave a renewal shoot for the next year where we will have in the year after that where we will get the cane from. So this is the cane from the previous year that we used and the grapes as you can see were on these bunches. So we're going to first off start off by cutting away last year's cane. This shoot here at the back is not, on the, not going to be on the cordon so we're going to cut this away. And now we're going to cut this one to the two eyes for the next year where we're going to get the cane from. And this is going to be our cane for the coming season where we're going to have the fruit on. We always count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we always cut it through the ninth, through the ninth eye. This then gets bent onto the, onto the cordon. So this is going to be our bearing shoot for the, for the coming season. And this is going to be the renewal shoot where it's going to have two, two shoots for, for this season. And we're going to bend it over for the next season. If we have a look over here, we're going to do exactly the same. We have last year's uh, cane that was on, on the cordon over here, which uh, had the fruit on for this season. And we're going to start off by cutting away last year's cane. Now we have this shoot here that we're going to use for the cane for this year to produce fruit. And this one is going to be the one we're going to cut back to for the coming season. So we're going to cut this one like over here. And we're going to count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And this one we're going to bend on over here. There are two, two different ways to tie the canes. Um, you'll see here there's one cordon wire here and there's another cordon wire here. In areas where you do get enough cold units during the winter season, it's fine if you just tie the cane onto the bottom cordon, but it, where you don't have problems with budding during the spring. But in areas where you, do, where you don't get enough cold, cold units during the winter, you can use this method where you use a second cordon wire and you twist it over and you take a little wire and you bind it there. So this will have, give you more even budding during the spring season. You'll have the budding on the, top of the, on the top of the cane, but also over here. So this will just give you a nice and even uh, start to the season. 